Hi, it's uh, Rich from Motorcycle Garage. Um, just looking at that there, the uh, crank sensing um, sensor, um, which I'm just checking at the moment. Um, not necessarily creating this fault that I have, this temporary fault, um, but you never know. People have talked about it. The crank sensor there just sits to the left hand side of the machine um, down under the tank there. And basically, you check the firstly, check the clearance through that hole there. And I think it's eight, which is about right. Um, but I've got to check, go back and check. Um, and just check with the very difficult to show you, sorry. Um, but I'm putting in the whoops, let's find it, let's find it. There we go. There's the feeler gauge, put the feeler gauge in, and eight has been going sweetly. I'm just Whoops, don't you hold it with one hand. There it goes. That's gone in there. Okay, and that's slid quite nicely. I'd say that's about eight. I've got to check what eight it is first, because not eight point not whatever it is, forget that. Anyway, that's how you check it. You can see the um the actual measurement in the manual uh, for the ST2 uh, 1998. Um and basically there's a little plug um which is very very tight. Seems to be done up with quite a torque, I don't think it needs to be, but it was. Um, and that's it, I'll just show you. Um, just show you there, I've just got it on my, there it is, that's the little plug that sits in that gap, just in there. Uh, which obviously measures the distance from the, for the crank sensor, obviously the crank sensor is actually sensing off one of, uh, not the actual crankshaft, but at the, one of the drives off the crankshaft. Um, and that sends a signal to the ECU, which sends a signal, obviously, to get everything right for the um, pulses on the injectors. So if you take that out for a start, if it's, let's say it's fully broken, which I have taken it out before and tried it, and it, the engine won't even start. But the, people have said that it can break down internally when you've been going about eight miles, and uh, it breaks down internally, and... Um, and uh, yeah, you break down basically until it cools down again and then it's okay. I'm not saying it is that, um, but that's what I've heard. So I'm just going through the process at the moment. Firstly, to check the actual distance between the crank sensor and the, I think it's the timing gear. Anyway, um, so that's that. I thought I'd just let you know. Um, also regarding uh, this one, this sensor here, which is not sensor, sorry, relay which is actually the um, ignition relay um, next to, I think that's the indicator relay, but anyway, this is the one just down again to the left of the machine, as you can see, and uh, it's important to get the right one. And as you can see there, um, numbers there, it's basically a 40, 40 amp, 12 volt relay, and you need basically 30, 85, 86, 87 and 87. Now there are some out there identical to that where it says 30, 85, 86, 87, 87A. That doesn't work at all because I made that mistake. So I thought I'd just let you know. Um, you don't have, you can buy an aftermarket one as it were other makes as long as um, it's got that spec and it's got that diagram on there. Remember, it's 87 and 87 up there, 30, 86, 85. Um, yeah, you can get Hello, you can get all sorts of makes. And um, they actually all work, so I've tried them. So this is a ripper, cut, which seems to work very well. Um, certainly, um, you can get them for sort of nine pounds or so. You don't have to pay the full, you know, full whack necessarily of a Ducati. Uh, fully fledged one, but um, yeah, so there they work perfectly well um, And I have changed that out because again, that was another thing about Breaking down and engine stalling and things like that, you know, it's all to do with the the fact the, the, the fault finding really um, To find out what is the actual problem. So yeah following up from as you can see earlier on the um, Internal pipes for the fuel pump in the tank, which I changed out um, Don't think it was that at all um, so I've done the spark plugs, which I should have done earlier, but I've done them now and I'm going to be a test ride soon enough and we'll see how we get on. But I thought I'd just let you know a couple of things, useful things there really. Um, 
so I'll leave you in peace and just crack on and just check this check this measurement on the, um, the crank sensor don't be put off by all the cables getting to the crank sensor um, there it is crank sensor check hole as it were the distance between the crank sensor and the actual gear um, it's just a bit awkward it's just a bit awkward but you, you can get your wires and pipes and things out of the way and just pull it out and then you can get a long reach sort of gear that I put together in fact put and uh, where's my gear there it is um, as you can see quite a long reach <laughs> quite a long reach one there um, so in just pushed it through and uh, it, it does undo it's done it for tight torque but um, anyway, I'll leave you in peace and catch up again. Thanks for watching.